Okay, Polyglow family, so here we are. I want to show you how to use the products. And this might be a typical scenario that you find yourself in. You're driving down the road and you get to where you're going and you're like, man, I just washed this vehicle and now it's got this big dirt mark on it. So come in a little closer. I want to show you, you know, a lot of times it's going to be dusty and you might be able to pick that up. But sometimes there'll be like real dirt right on the, uh, on the side of your vehicle. And it's very easy with our super spray. All you do is spray this on. I'll spray some on here. Right on here, no water, waterless, and you wipe it in, you know, and you can see the dirt comes right off, okay? And I would probably just do all this here, and what this does is it leaves a beautiful shine on, and I can keep going over the same area here, but it actually will leave a gloss as it cleans. Now, a couple things. I'm doing this directly over Polyglow, and literally it looks more brilliant than it did a second. You see how easy that dirt came off. It looks more brilliant. It feels even smoother. The best thing to do is apply Polyglow, put Slick Seal on it every four to six months, and then you can easily clean it with Super Spray. Okay, that's the best thing to do. Now, let me show you how uh, Poly Wash works. I'm gonna have you dip right down into this bucket here. I'm gonna show you exactly how much Poly Wash I'm putting in because you're gonna wanna wash your truck, sorry, your uh, RV or your boat, I already have three gallons of water in here. I'm gonna pour about two ounces of Polyglow, maybe not even that much, sorry, of uh, poly wash in there, okay? I'm gonna add the this, right? Super high foaming. Super high foaming with just a little bit of agitation. Now, let me show you how I wash this. So we just filled our bucket up with poly wash and I just wanna show you the difference in uh, different brush heads because the easiest way to wash this is you get a brush head and you, you wash your vehicle. After you put Polyglow on it, you wanna use a soft bristled brush. They do make more stiff bristles. This is something I would use if I was going to wash my vehicle before I put Polyglow on there. And it can even help to get some oxidation and some stainings off because it's more stiff and rough. But use a soft bristled brush on a pole and we're gonna wash our vehicle, okay? And I'm gonna show you now, this has Polyglow on it, doesn't have any slick seal, doesn't have um, any other wax or anything on there, but if it did, the poly wash would not strip it off. Now, now that we've washed it, we're gonna dry it quickly. We have our detailing towel, 550 GSM. This thing is awesome. Now, let's say you have a little staining on there. You wanna use Poly Wash Pro. I'm gonna show you exactly how much to add. Now, you wanna be careful with this product because while it won't harm Polyglow, it can damage some, some paint. You always wanna test in an inconspicuous area, make sure you're not damaging anything. But this is just a simple, I just wanted to demonstrate how much to put in there. And we're just gonna give this another wash, make sure we get all the dirt off of it. Now the point in this exercise is just to show you that it didn't damage the polyglow. 